Hey guys, welcome to Blondie. First my little disclaimer, this is not financial advice, my own opinion and estimates. My estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in Mara, Riot, Hive, Argo, Bitfarm, Sat8, K1, Deemji, Blockchain, Digi, Host, Galaxy, um, any. Uh, Tokens.com, Luxfolio, Blue Sky Digital Assets and Bit Digital. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So um, we were talking yesterday about the miners, um, yeah, about the monthly results. And today I want to show you what the miners are making every day. I will soon do videos about hodling and all these things. So I want to be a little bit more into data again. The price rest right now of Bitcoin is at 46,400 approximately. So if you watch this video and Bitcoin is back at 50,000, for example, uh, the numbers will change to the upside. The most important number here for the Bitcoin miners is the mining profitability here. It's um, the US dollar per day per one tera hash. So you can make the calculation by your own or you can use a calculator for the daily revenue. The problem here is, for example, that this number here is wrong for Ethereum mining because a big part of this transaction fee here is burned. That means that the reward is not here close to five ETH right now per block. It's only 2.2 or so. And yeah, that makes a huge difference and changes completely the mining profitability. And that's why we'll go through all these companies. Um, let's start here with, um, yeah, let's start here with Digihost, for example. Um, yeah, they have 200 um, peta ash right now a power consumption maybe of something like um, 12, <clears throat> 12 megawatts or so, not 100% sure, at 4 cents. So the daily revenue is at 64,000 right now for DigiHost. Uh, let's move on, let's go to HUD8. Um, they have right now, um, from the operational update, we got the number, they have 1.37 exahash. Bitcoin mining, so far as I'm aware of, they have no Ethereum mining. It will come online soon, but right now um, it's they're mining no, or maybe with uh, some test cards or so. So this is only the Bitcoin mining here, um, 9.5 Bitcoins and 440,000 US dollars a day here for hard eight here. Power consumption approximately 100 megawatt at yeah, four cents. That makes a profit of 345,000. Let's go to Bitfarms. Um, they say they have 1.42 exahash right now. Uh, power consumption a little bit lower here. Four cents should be right. So the revenue is at 457,000 US dollars right now. And you know the price of Bitcoin is at 46,000 right now. If we go to 50 or 60,000, it will be a lot higher because the hash rate will not climb that fast. Okay, now. Interesting Hive blockchain. Yeah, let's say they have 40 megawatts right now. They have very efficient fleet here. The revenue for Bitcoin mining is at 320,000 right now. We have to add Ethereum here. Um, yeah, let's say 20 megawatts for Ethereum. I think the electricity cost should be lower, but we're talking about revenue and yeah, that is not the big deal here. Um, yeah, 245. Um, in addition to 320, 320, uh, 322,000 US dollars. So that's more than 550,000 if my math is correct. Um, let's move on. So that's big numbers here for Hive blockchain. Um, let's go to um, Riot in their latest update. They say they have um, um, 2.2 exahash, I think they should have something like 70, 70, 75 megawatts right now. Yes, yeah, 710,000 US dollars in daily revenue. In a month, that's 21 million. Yeah, and, and, and in a year you can multiply this with 12, so you will be above 250 million US dollars in revenue. So Mara has a little bit more. They said they have 2.3 online now. Um, yeah, 
<clears throat> so the revenue here 740,000 US dollars a day. So um, yeah, that's big numbers for these companies. Um, yeah, I, I built a little Excel sheet. I mean, this is a more easy minor comparison on the daily revenue in my BMXI, I try to bring all together and to value it like the HODL, like the daily revenue, the future expected revenue and all these things. That's why I developed the BMXI because it's, it's more than the daily revenue in my opinion. But based on these numbers here, um, yeah, right. Um, marathon here at number one with 740,000 US dollars a day. Then Riot had, um, sorry, Hive is, is next one. Um, yeah, we have to sort it this way. Um, let's do it again. Okay. So Hive number three was 560,000 US dollars. Bid Farms 450,000. Hade 440,000. Argo 346,000. I mean, yes, I know they are mining Zcash, um, but we know that their BTC hash rate is a little bit underperforming right now. So I think it's fair to, to put uh, their disclosed number here and to forget about the Zcash mining because it's, it's such a small part. And uh, yeah, I think that makes sense here. And Digihost right now at 200 peta hash at 64,000. So if we add the market caps here, Mara 3.7 billion, Riot 2.9 billion, Hive 1.2 billion, Bid Farms 1 billion, Hot 8 close to 1.5 billion, Argo 700 million and Digihost 130 million. Uh, yeah, if, if we multiply, sorry, this is wrong. We have to multiply the, the revenue. I think the formula is correct, but um, that was uh, written wrong here. Changed this a little bit. Um, we want to multiply the daily revenue with 365 for one year. So that makes more sense. <clears throat> yeah, we get Mara here with 13.7. Um, that means that the, the large market caps here like Mara and Riot, people, investors are willing to pay a little bit more per hash rate, per hash, per tera hash, peta hash or exa hash than with the more smaller miners here. For example, Digihost is a good example here. Um, yeah, people. Um, yeah, but Digihost also has a huge growth plan. So, so that's going to be also very interesting. But um, I mean, this is no surprise here that these bows here are um, per hash. They're a little bit more expensive. I think what is very interesting that Argo here in this metric is at 5.5 or on the same level as Digihost and Hive and Bit Farms are also approximately at the same level when we when we are at the when we are looking at the daily revenue hive is always very high here with the ethereum mining um yeah had eight is a little bit higher here so had eight is now in another category between riot and mara and the other canadian miners and argo so that's interesting can had eight grow further and close the gap to these two here um that the people are willing to pay even more for a hash or uh, will we have the adjustment? Um, yeah, will hot, uh, will these other rise and, and close the gap to HUD8? So that's gonna be very interesting. I really have to say that HUD8 did a great job in the last few months to turn the things around. And yeah, I think uh, that's why this makes a whole lot of sense here. But it also shows that some are undervalued and that's why I'm focusing right now on this one. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.